fight, I think, me and Leo and I have had uh, 24 rounds of each other and they've all been pretty competitive rounds. Um, it's one all now, yeah. So if, I, I, you know, if I'm going to look at any sort of positive out of this, we, we have to make it a trilogy. Um, it has to happen again. Um, Leo is a, 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 a tremendous fighter. Um, you know, he, he surprised me with his tactics tonight. I, I honestly didn't believe he, he could box like he did. He, you know, he, he was on the back foot a lot. And uh, I felt like, if I'm being honest, hand on heart, I think that, that Leo deserved the win. Um, I, I came back a couple of, a couple of rounds um, that were close. I thought I was doing, doing pretty well in some rounds. And, and Leo used his experience and stole him at the end. Um, last, you know, burst the last 15 seconds and stole the round. Um, and I believe that, that he deserved, deserved to have his hand raised. Um, so, you know, congratulations to the new champion. Uh, and, and hopefully he can do it again. I, I, I feel like I, I've came to the States twice now and Leo has said that he would do it in Belfast the third time. I hope, I hope he's a man of his word. And uh, he can come and stay at my house if he wants. And, uh, <laughs> And we can uh, we can get it on uh, for a third time, and after that I can you know I, I would be happy to go to LA. Who, who knows? Who knows? This could be three, four, five. Who knows? They were great fights, so let's give the fans what they want. But well done and congratulations, Leo. Thank you. And by the way, I'm sure he meant that that Leo could stay with him. He didn't just say that. Uh, that's the kind of. Competitors they are, they really respect each other, and that's nice and refreshing. So welcome to the new world champion, featherweight world champion, Leo Santa Cruz. Hey, good night everyone. Uh, I just want to say that I'm very happy and I'm just glad that you know. I got this fight, you know, Carl Franz is a great fighter, a great man. I respect him. He gave me a hell of a fight, you know. I always say that he's, he has he's everything. He has great skills, great power, great footwork, but this time, you know, I was, I came with a great game plan. Uh, my dad, my brother, they, we work in the gym really hard because, like I said, I put in my mind that if I got, if I lost to him twice, I was gonna maybe retire because, you know, you're here to be the best and if he beat me, what else was I gonna do, you know? If he's better than me, I wouldn't wanna maybe fight no more so. But you know, Carl Farnham is a great fighter, and like I said, if he wants, we're gonna talk to my promoter, my manager, and if they wanna make it a trilogy, let's make it. You know, I'm up for it, I have a man of my word, and we just gonna come to an agreement, if they make it, I'll be happy to make it the third fight. But there are many options out there too. And yes, like I said, no, uh, I wanted to go out there and you know prove all those people that didn't believe in me that they thought you know a lot of experts they were saying that I was gonna lose that it was gonna be you know uh, a lot, not a lot for me but you know I said I gotta go out there I gotta work hard to prove them wrong and thank God you know I did and I just went out there and did the perfect game plan so I just want to thank you all the people that believe in me and that were rooting for me thank you guys. Questions? Can you? I uh, have to give Dan the microphone. Hey, Leo! Congratulations! What another great fight that was. Uh, I don't know if you heard Carl when he came in. Uh, he said uh, you were a man of your word, and, that, and as you said, you'd do it a third time. He said he's come to the United States twice: once in New York, once now here in, La uh, in Las Vegas. He wants you to go to Belfast for the third fight. What are your thoughts about going to Belfast for the third fight? Okay. Hello. Yeah, like I said, you know, uh, like I said, I'm a man of word, and a real champion, a true champion, will go anywhere. Because you know, once we open the ring, it's only me and Carl Frampton, and I know the crowd, may, you know, they're gonna be all for him and everything, and it's gonna be very hard. But you know, if I go out there and if I if I beat him, and if they give the decision to him, I know the fans and everybody all over the world that sees it is gonna see if I want it. But if he wins his fair and square, I give it to him and everything. But you know, like I said. I'm willing to go up there. Uh, I don't care. A true champion goes anywhere. Leo, the, the, the fight was a majority decision again. 
it was very close. You won it. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at the scorecards. You won because you closed very strong. You won the last four rounds on two judges' cards. You won three out of the last four on the other uh, the third scorecard. That's what gave you uh, the margin of victory. Did you feel like going into the last part of the fight that you were maybe behind and that you really had to pick up the pace and really get in there and, uh, and then slug it out a little more than you had earlier in the fight with the boxing to, to get the job done? No, the, tr the truth, I thought I was winning, you know, uh, the fight, you know, the first rounds, and I thought I won them. I was boxing him and everything. There were close rounds that, you know, he put pressure and he got me good shots and everything. But, you know, I thought I was, I was winning the fight, you know, uh, and, uh, but I knew I, I couldn't lose no, any rounds, you know, I had to, like, put it, like, clearly that win all the rounds. But, you know, uh, it's what it is, and I use respect to judges, and whatever it is, you know, I knew I, I won the fight. Carl, um, will you go, do you want to fight Leo in Belfast next, or do you want to fight someone else and then maybe get the Leo toward, you know, no, I, later? I, I want to fight Leo um, again straight away. Um, you know, we, he done it, you know, I, I won the first fight, he won the second fight. Let's, let's just do it straight, straight away again. Um, I, I want to fight. I, I want to fight in Belfast next. That's what I want to do. I, I feel like I've been on the road for two years now. I haven't fought at home. My, my fans are having to pay a lot of money to come and support me, and I want to thank them first and foremost. They 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 come in their numbers, but they're paying a lot of money. I would like to repay them with a fight at home, um, and hopefully, hopefully that that can happen. But again, I think that uh, I think the decision was fair tonight. I think the decision was fair in the first fight, um, so you know, let's get it right and, and, and settle the score in number three. Great. And Leo, obviously having your dad back in the corner for the full camp, I know you believe that made a difference. What did you guys say to each other, uh, you know, in the ring after the decision was read, or maybe in the locker room? Any exchange of, that was significant? Um, you know, my dad told me that you know, if I listen, if I did what he told me, that uh, you know, I would win the fight. And he always told me, you know, for a hard fight, Kobe Bryant's a great fighter, but you, you could show that you're better than him, and that's what I did. You know, I went out there and did what I had to do, and we did it. Good night for LA too, with Mikey getting the belt too. What's it like for you guys to bring those belts back to Southern California? I feel great. You know, like you know, like I said, it feel like I was fighting for my first world title. That's what I had in my mind. And you know, Mikey Garcia, he's a great friend. You know, I know him since the amateur. We were in the team tournament. And thanks to Robert Garcia, you know, and him, uh, we signed, we turned pro and everything. And I used to, you know, we, we, they're a great family too and everything. So, uh, you know, I really respect them and I'm really glad that they won the, the belt too. Hey, Leo, right here. Yeah. Um, you look to be a little winded uh, about midway through the fight. You, you seem to lose a little steam on your punches. Did, did you get a second wind or did you feel... Did you feel strong then? I, I didn't feel that. I didn't, I didn't sense him getting winded for the slate and so on. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I was just, you know, being, I didn't want to go out there and, and throw more, you know, because I was, yeah, I didn't want to get tired. I didn't want him to give it the, you know, because I know if I didn't throw more and stuff, he was going to maybe win the rounds and so, but yeah, I mean, I was taking, you know, my pace and everything, not to try not to get tired because, you know, from the, he was coming out stronger and stronger. And, you know, I used to do what I had to do. But, yeah, maybe a little bit, but then I got my second win. Yeah. Carl, did you, did you uh, feel there was a point in the fight when you knew you had to do something big to win? Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I, I felt like I, I had a bad first round. The first round wasn't great for me, and it wasn't the start that I wanted. Um, I kind of settled down and, and commended a little bit, and then got a little bit silly at times. I think Leo was... A lot of the rounds were close, but he used his experience and he and he stole the rounds right at the end and you know burst in the last 15 seconds, last 10 seconds, and I was going back to the corner with my head down, thinking 10 seconds before it was a half decent round and Leo had just stole it, but that's that's experience for you. Um, but you know again it was a close fight, but uh, you know hand on heart I feel that the decision was fair and I think that uh, Leo won. It. How disappointed are you? I'm disappointed. I'm extremely disappointed. You know, I, I, I'm a winner. You know, I want to win. I want to win all the time. I, I, I come away uh, for a long time from my family. Uh, you know, I don't see my kids for a long time. I want to. I want to win for my kids. So I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. Thank you. It was a good fight. Good question back here.
Leo. Back here in the back, Leo. Back here. Okay, so first off, congratulations on your win tonight. If there's not a rematch clause, would you be open to fighting somebody like another Abner Morris fight or even a Gary Russell if he comes off with a win over in Scandon? Yeah, of course, you know, uh, the truth, uh, you know, I would like to give it to family because, you know, he deserves it. He's a great fighter, a great man. And like I said, you know, if, if the manager, if they come to an agreement and they make the third fight, uh, that was the first fight I would like to you know because, you know, I respect him. Great guy, great man, and I would like to give him the third fight because he deserves it. But, you know, I also said I would want to give the rematch to Abner Mares, uh, unification against Liz, Liz LB, Gary Russell. Oscar Valdez, you know, any of them. I'm already, I'm here to fight the best. I want to fight the best. And no matter what order, um, my manager is going to take care of that. And I'm just up here and I'm going to go to the gym and train. And whatever comes, I'm up for it. Right here. And first of all, congrats, Leo. Uh, the question's for Carl. Were you surprised at how skillful Leo used his job? Uh, he, he did surprise me with his tactics, to be honest. I thought, you know, he he told me what he was going to do. He told me he was going to use his distance. I thought he was bluffing. I thought it was. Uh, I thought he was going to come out and just go head first. But um, he surprised me. Um, he, he's a he's a, a better boxer on the back foot than I give him credit for. Um, but you know, Leo Leo can do it all. Um, and. Yeah, but it was a breath. I thought that I thought that he was going to come straight at me. Carl, it may, may seem a, a criticism of you, but at, um, I know how critical you are of yourself. And congratulations, Leo and, Thank and you. Carl. It's another great fight. Do you feel already that it was a below par Carl Frampton tonight? Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I had a I had a bad start in the fight. Um, I feel like maybe my feet weren't what they should have been. Um, and I and I played to to Leo's game plan. You know, I'm the, I'm the boxer. I feel like I'm a, I'm a good boxing brain, um, and I was kind of coming forward, trying to be the aggressor. Um, and it's I prefer people to come to me. And uh, you know, the game plan from from Leo's team was was good. And and they, uh, yeah, I don't know. I I, it, it, the, I, can't, I can't really make excuses. I had a, a, an amazing training camp. You know, I have, I have an unbelievable coach with me, pushed me to the limit. I sparred well. I had no injuries. I made the weight fine, um, and it was a, maybe a below par performance, but the, the better man won on the night. Can I ask? I don't think it was a subpar performance, by the way. I don't think there was anything subpar about this fight whatsoever. This was a spectacular fight. Two great champions, two great fighters. They fought their heart out and one edged it out over the other one. I really don't think subpar and this fight, they go hand in hand. I think they both fought their heart out. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, I, I don't disagree with you, Richard. It was just a question to Carl about his own performance. Can I ask both of you, though? You had a tactical fight in the first fight, Carl. You had a tactical fight in the second fight, Leo. When you guys stand and actually trade, it's like the roof's going to come off. So I'm assuming in the third fight, you two are just going to go toe to toe for 12 rounds. Is that right? I, I think so. You know, like that's what I want. I like to do. You know, I like to give the fans a great fight. I like to go toe to toe because you know they're the ones that deserve it. They don't want to deserve a, a great fight. But this fight, I had to be smart. You know, I had to do it for myself, and that's what I did. I went out there and did it for myself. I, I you know, I don't know. Hopefully. I don't know. I don't. You know, the fight hasn't made it yet. Hopefully, a third fight can happen, and and we can come up with a game plan that, that gets the win. But um, I think Leo's bluffing again. I think. <laughs> I think that. Yeah. I think uh, you know, both boxers will use their strengths and do what it takes. Hopefully, to to try and get the win. Okay, a couple more questions. Wait. Or here. Guys, a rest. Sir. Leo, a partir del quinto round se sintió bastante seguro tu gancho al hígado. Lo trabajaste muy bien y obviamente Frampton acusó de recibo varias veces. Es un golpe que vas a seguir este, trabajando, Leo, porque obviamente te ayudó mucho en esta pelea. ¿Sentiste que, que te ayudó el gancho al hígado? Sí, claro que sí. Lo, ahí lo trabajamos, este, lo estuvimos agarrando y miramos que cuando estábamos agarrando al, al gancho al hígado, este, aflojó un poquito y se movió 
y hubo unos momentos que pensé que, que sí lo estaba sintiendo y que dije a la mujer se lo puedo tumbar, pero es un gran peleador, aguanta bien y claro que sí lo vamos a seguir usando, pero hay veces que no se puede usar ya que a veces el peleador se mueve mucho o algo este, y si uno lo trata de tirar, se descuida y lo pueden agarrar uno con otro golpe so, cuando lo tengan que tirar, cuando pueda, sí lo va a tirar, pero cuando no, no va a usar mucho Oh yeah, no, he was asking me about the, you know, the body chart, if, you know, that I was working and it, it was working for me. And I said that, yeah, you know, I saw that I was landing it good and uh, maybe I felt that I hurt him a little bit and he started going back. But, you know, Carl Farms is a great fighter, a tough man. He took them really well. And if I have to use them, you know, there's some people that you can't hit them. You know, they're really, they're smart and if you throw them, they catch you with another punch. You're open to another punch, but, you know. I am going to use it a lot as much as I can, but with the people that I, that I can't do it, I'm not going to use it because it's going to leave me open for another punch. Why didn't you start earlier on? You started using it all. Yeah. 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 Yeah.